bell. Stand by all stations. Attention, all districts, a five alarm fire. Five bells move in immediately. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Firefighters. <laughs> Presenting Firefighters, the true-to-life story of our unsung heroes who stand ready to ride by day or night against our most murderous enemy, the Demon of Fire. In just a minute, we'll join Tim Collins at the quarters where the rescue company is stationed, where, as Chief Cody warned him, Tim finds rough going as his new mates resent any outsider breaking into their circle. Before we hear what's happening, we have time for this message. Let's go, firefighters. Let's go to the assembly room at headquarters of the rescue company, where you remember Tim Collins carrying his helmet, boots, and turnout coat, has just walked in, planning to report to Captain Jellybone as ordered. But when he announces to the men sitting around that he has come to join their company, two of them, Mush Mushnoski and Smokehead McBride, make it plain that no newcomers are welcome. All right, Cullen, so you got a good record. Why don't you keep it that way? Why don't you go back where you belong? Yeah. Why come busting in where you were not one? Yeah, come back in a couple of years when you grow up. Go on home now while everybody's friends. Don't keep hanging around till you get hurt. No, I've got my orders and I'm sticking. Oh, yeah? Can't take a friendly hint, huh? Oh, well, so the kid wants trouble. Well, Mush? What do you say, smokehead? Too bad, but I guess we got to educate the kid. Come on, Mush. Yeah, come on, all of you, if that's how you want it. All right. Attention! Attention! Here comes Captain Jellybone. Just a little night noisy, aren't you, boys? Uh, yeah, well, sorry, Captain, we, uh... Got kind of worked up. We kind of thought you had your sleep out, Captain. Hope so, anyways. After last night, we figured you'd need some shut-eye, Captain. We, we didn't go to... Who is this, a new man? Uh, Private Collins reporting, sir, on transfer to rescue company from engine 209. You've been waiting long for me, Collins? I was expecting you. About ten minutes, sir. The boys have been making me welcome. Ah. Uh, something on your mind, Mush? Oh, oh, no, no, Captain. I was just... I was just kind of choked. Ah! <clears throat> See, something stuck in my throat. Yeah, those words are welcome, maybe... Sir? Nothing much, nothing at all. Oh, Collins? Yes, sir. About reporting for duty. I was expecting maybe you'd report to me as soon as you got here. The way I remember it, that's what men do as a rule. Yes, sir. Now, you take all these rules and regulations, Collins, at times, and they add up to a lot of nuisance. Here in Rescue Company, we don't have so many rules about how we do our work. Is that right, boys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come time to do our work, and just say to us, boys, there's the job. Do it your way, we'll do it fast. I understand, Captain. Yeah. But you take this, Bren, now. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but it seems to me that a man needs rules to go by. Following the rules, that kind of keeps him in training. So maybe somebody wraps out an order sometime. He just naturally obeys on the jump. You see what I mean? Yes, sir. Discipline. That might save your life someday. Smokehead? Yes, sir. Smoke, did I say for you boys to stand at ease? Or... No, sir. Discipline, Collins. Here in our company, we've got a fine bunch of boys. Mighty fine. And you got discipline, too. Next time you're supposed to report, you see what I mean? I see what you mean, sir. Uh, permission to speak, Captain. Captain, it shouldn't be that... Something to say, boys? Mush? What is it? Well, Captain, sir, it shouldn't be that the kid gets a black mark for not reporting right away. Well, you're making excuses for him. Uh, Captain, it was us. Uh, we thought you ought to be resting up. We said he should wait until you... All wait. right, boys, all right. We'll say no more. At ease, all. I'd, uh, I'd like for you to shake hands with Hooksy Collins... <clears throat> now, Collins, I, I don't go to tell my boys who they should get along with and who they shouldn't. But in my company quarters, we don't usually have any fighting to speak of. You see what I mean? Oh, no, Captain. I'm not asking for any fights, but... You boys? You see what I mean? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anything happens, well, it, it won't be nothing to speak of. That's well and good. Now, Hooksy, you shake hands and get acquainted, and then come along to my office and bring your gear. Well, kid... You heard what the captain said. I'll shake your hand, but... Me too. 
but don't go getting the idea you're going to last here in a rescue company any length of time. That's all right with me, boys. I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> you bet you will. We ain't settled yet what to do about you, Collins. You'll be seeing us all right. A few minutes later, Tim Collins, tight-lipped and serious, presents himself in Captain Jellybone's office. Reporting, sir. All right, boys, sit down. Don't have to be too formal. Oh, but, sir, the rules, they... Yep, yep, the rules come in handy when it's time to crack the whip. Good boys I have, best boys at the department. But there's times that I have to crack the whip. Yes, sir, I... I hope I'm not going to be the cause of trouble, sir, in the company. Ah, uh, don't give me the thought, son. Why, bless me, Smokehead McBride out there, first six months he was with us, his pal Musnoskin, it drove him crazy. Mush, he's a, he's a carny. Knows a million ways to make a man wish he never was born. A carny, sir? <laughs> he used to work for a carnival. Acrobat he was and other things. And Smokehead, he used to be a sailor. He's tattooed all over. He's more blue than white. Uh. And the rest, well, they're all kinds, so see, all kinds of experience. Yes, sir, but, well, they're, they're, they're firemen, too, aren't they? First, last, and foremost. Make no mistake about that. And they all had to take a hazing when they first came to the company? Same as I did years ago. You too, Captain. <laughs> Those days. Yeah, I was a cocky young one. Champion of the department. Amateur nights. Uh, amateur nights? Uh, you, you, mean, you mean boxing? Yep. I was a tough young fellow. I thought I was. Pretty good with my fists. Not so good at taking orders till I put up my fists with a certain officer in the department. Well, sir, you, you fought with an officer, but... Deputy chief he was, no less. I wouldn't take his orders. Yes, sir, but weren't you... Well, I, I mean, you, you could have been tried on charges. You could have been thrown out of the department. Yep. But Ben Collins, he didn't want to let me go. Ben Collins? <laughs> you, you mean my own dad? Your own father, boy. When I put up my fist to him, he blackened both my eyes. Sooner than throw me out of the service. I've been grateful to him ever since. Well, I... Good grief, I never knew that. <laughs> Nobody ever did, but your dad and me. Yes, I was good with my fists, but your dad was better. Yep. How are you? How am I? Oh, oh, with my fists. <laughs> well, not too bad, sir, I guess. Now, you heard what I said. In my company quarters, no fighting to speak of. You see what I mean? Uh, you mean, sir, only maybe what might be absolutely necessary. Or if I, uh, if a man has no other choice. There's a set of gloves in the watchman's desk. Boxing gloves? No, yeah, just for exercise. Uh, you see what I mean? Yes, sir, and thanks for the advice. Oh, you'll get along fine, son. Oh, you went along, get acquainted. I got paperwork. As Tim walks out of Captain Jellybone's office... He wears a tight grin on his face, and a plan is shaping in his mind. At the door of the assembly room, he calls out. Hey, Chowderhead! What was that? Huh? Who are you yelling at? Not you, Mush. I mean Chowderhead McBride. What's that? What are you calling me? Hey, Smokehead. You hear what he said? That's an insult. Yeah, come on. I want some exercise. Smokey, I'll toss you a coin to see who takes him apart. Hold on. Here's a chief. Tench, hut! At ease, man. Where's Captain Jellybone in his office? Uh, right inside, Chief Cody. Thank you, Collins. With a quick salute to Tim Collins and his new mates, Chief Cody passes them and enters the office of Captain Jellybone. Oh, don't get up, Captain. Just dropped in to see how things are going. Well, well you're always welcome, Chief. Rested up after last night? That was a first-rate piece of work. Well, it's wearing, though. Five hours we worked over that youngster. Before we knew for sure, he'd be able to breathe for himself. Ah, these drowning accidents. Well, you brought him around. Tell me, how's young Collins making out? Can he take it? <laughs> if he's a chip off the old block, he'll take it fine. Yeah. Well, when your boys have worked with him at a fire, they'll see what he's made of. Well, you know my boys. They're riding him hard. But I... Uh, well, I gave him a few hints. Well, he's got to win his own place, Captain. What kind of um, hints... Uh, listen. Hmm? Do you hear what I hear? It sounds like a... Oh, uh, look here, Captain, not a fight. I'll have no fighting in the quarters. Oh, no, no, Chief. Just, just a little exercise, a little workout with the gloves there. Oh. I told you, young Collins, I told him where they were kept. Oh, <laughs> so that's one of your little hints, huh? <laughs> hey, it's getting to be hot out there. I wish we could see this. Well, now, they wouldn't see us if we cracked the door just an inch. Oh, oh that's, that's fine. We can see fine. Come on, Hooksy. Lay it on. Come on, give me a lift. That's it. 
Well, now, what's happening out there in the assembly room of the rescue company? Has Tim Collins taken the captain's hint and put on the gloves to box around with one of his tormentors? What does Chief Cody see as he peers through the crack of the door? You'll find out, and you'll learn how Tim wins a place of honor with his new company when you hear our next True to Life episode of The Firefighters. In just a moment, Chief Bob Cody will tell you, boys and girls, how you can help the firefighters in your own town. But first, here is a message you ought to hear. And now, Chief Bob Cody with a special notice for the Firefighters Brigade. Chief Cody. Hello, boys and girls. This is Chief Cody with a reminder that a modern fire department offers interesting jobs for every kind of specialist. Hook and ladder men, engine men, members of rescue companies, salvage companies, searchlight companies, and many others. Yet, first of all, every man in the department must be a thoroughly trained firefighter. And he must be able both to think for himself and to obey instantly any order that is thrown at him. Pretty important qualities for any of us, firefighters or not. Don't you think so? But goodbye for now. You'll hear from me soon. Fire Chief Cody and the young rookie fireman Tim Collins... We'll be back on the same station the next time you hear. That's it. Let's go! Let's go! Firefighters! Firefighters is a copyrighted feature of William F. Holland Productions.